Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Adventures of Jacoby. I am the Winter Warlock, here with Storm Gaming Alliance for another episode in Skyrim. Welcome back everyone. The last episode was a simple chapter one through three recap, so if you have not yet watched the previous chapters of the Adventures of Jacoby, well, first, I urge you to do so. There's some great, great, many, many hours of adventuring in there. Um, but if not, definitely check out the previous episode where we recap the adventure so far. What are we going to get into today, you might wonder? You'll just have to stay tuned. And welcome back. Yes, here we are. Back in Skyrim. Back here in Lakeview Manor. Um, having returned from defeating Croesus, we had to offload a few things back here at home. And if memory serves, if we can get through a quick save, um, we should be pretty well. Yep, we look pretty well unloaded. Got rid of everything we don't need. And we are back on the hunt. Um, we have not received any more information from Parthenax. Though we haven't returned to High Hrothgar. Or the Throat of the World for that matter. Um, but Parthenax had told us upon pointing us in the direction of where Croesus may be found. That it was likely going to take some time before he was able to give us a next location. As he's going to have to meditate and think back, you know, centuries ago into history, um, liaise with some other dragons. Um, so there's going to be, there's going to be a little bit of time um, that is going to pass here uh, before we really have any good, substantial information. Um, so in today's episode, oh, there goes the hawk overhead somewhere. Yep, there it is. Um, in today's episode, we're just going to start venturing out a little bit. Um, we've been staying pretty close to home lately and, um, you know, coming out of retirement and now we're hunting down powerful dragon priests um, yeah, there's good old Pine Watch. We took care of that before. Um, but yeah, just sort of coming out of retirement, Jacoby's feeling a little rusty. Um, that battle with Croesus was not, um, was not easily won by any stretch of the imagination. Um, so Jacoby is certainly feeling like, um, you know, maybe he should, uh, Maybe he should go out and do a little bit of adventuring, do a little bit of exploring, and um, see, get himself back in shape, basically. Um, last chapter saw quite a few, I'm not going to steal this hunter's stuff here. Um, oh, all the bees everywhere. Um, oh, what was that, like a bear trap or something going off? Uh, who knows? Um, but yeah, last last um, last chapter saw a lot of time skip. So even though it was still like the typical, what, like 18 or 19 episodes long, um, I had done probably, geez, altogether a couple of months of time skip, of skipping ahead, um, just waiting, sleeping, just rolling the clock forward, basically. Um, so, although it seemed to be the normal amount of time, it was really much longer that Jacoby had been out of retirement. And I'd like to say it'd probably be um, at least probably six months or so in real life. Um, oh, here we are. Bandits of Helgen again. <laughs> Um, there we go. Um, 
but yeah, it probably been at least six months to maybe even a year um, that Jacoby had been in um, retirement. So coming back out into the world after, you know, six months to a year of, um, you know, of not being uh, out here being a warrior, um, yeah, just wants to sort of set out here and, um, you know, sharpen the blade a little bit, sharpen the senses, get back into the swing of things. There we go. And what better place to start than clearing out some bandits? It will take the elven arrows. We've our ebony greatsword. Mercy, that's beautiful. Um, you know, we have come through and cleared out Helgen once before, but if the bandits want to be back at it, then I guess they want to be back at it. And it sort of suits the theme here, as uh, we just came off of the recap episode, last episode, um, where we sort of, you know, recounted our initial journey through Helgen here. Um, so I guess it's sort of fitting that we make our way back into Helgen one more time to um, take care of the take care of these bandits. Where are you hiding? Oh, a mage. Not anymore. Ooh, there's one in every crowd. Sure, minor healing. Couple more pieces of gold. Nice. Is that everybody in Helgen? It's everybody outside. So that's where the Imperials went in. This is where I went in last time. Let's see if there's anybody inside. You know, if we're going to check out Helgen, we might as well really check it out. And bandits seem to be a pretty easy way to get ourselves back in the swing of this whole adventuring thing. Bandits usually pose little threat. So let's see who lies within the hold of Helgen. Familiar sight. This uh, Stormcloak soldier, Gunyar, from before. That leads down below. So let's go over here first. Oh, just a weird texture. All right. Let's head in here, see if there's any, uh, any bandits sleeping. No, doesn't look like it. And I imagine, yeah, all these chests are still empty. Oh, the warden's chest isn't empty. Ah, just an iron sword, probably because we left it there. Did the gold respawn? Nope, the gold didn't respawn. All right. So, so far, so good. This is just a weird sense of not even deja vu because we've actually, it's not the feeling that we've done this before. We have done this before. But we were, uh, well, we were not as strong. We were definitely not as well equipped as we are right now. There we go. Take care of them real quick. So it looks like some bandits have moved inside. Not a problem for us, though, really. Nope, still an empty barrel. All right, let's continue onward down into the dungeon. Anybody down here? Yep. Now ain't this a surprise? Ah! Uh. Nope, that's not gonna that's not gonna be a good idea for you. Brief invisibility. Don't mind if we do. Couple gold. Paralysis poison, useful, but I don't want it. 
Black Arrow Volume 2. We already have it. Yep, that's fine. That's fine. We've unlocked all that already. Likely nothing that we need in the knapsack. Oh, where? Decapitation. Okay. That all seems to be in order. Okay. So, continuing onward through the prison. Down into a torture chamber of sorts. And this is where we bust into the caves below. Let's see if there's anybody hiding down here. I'm just gonna sneak first. So we've got one, two, three. So it looks like we've got what, three? Oh, a chief. Two shot at the bandit chief. Okay. Um. All right. Come on then. There we go. Fire breath really coming in handy here. And yep. All right. Let's check out this chest over here. Anything good? Yeah, a couple of things couple of things. What's going on here? Can we get behind this little waterfall at all? Not really. Okay. All right. Well, that was easy enough. Head out this direction. Hello? You picked a bad <laughs> Nope. I did not pick a bad time to get lost, friend. Uh, let's see, this should double back here, right? And one once more. Yes, indeed. So he's got a couple gold for us. Outside of that, nothing major. Skeleton, not concerned. Now we go below. Now down here there were spiders before. So I will be interested to see what's down here now. I don't see anything immediately. Hello? H Hello? Okay. Yep, seemingly empty. And then we got to the final chamber where there was a bear. Nope, now there's a spider. Okay. Oh, he saw me. There we go. After a little bit of freezing action going on there, made short work of him, her, it, arachnid. All right. So further down we go, and there's the exit. Nice. Okay. Well, I don't really care to do that. I actually want to run back up through here and um, get back up inside of Helgen just to make sure that we did our due diligence, make sure every bandit is cleared out. I'm not sure why um, nobody has come to do this, but if it's Jacoby that needs to uh, keep maintaining the cleanliness of Helgen, then so be it, I guess. I imagine back there, if we wanted to, we probably could sleep in the beds in the barracks. So I guess if we really wanted to, we could just give the house to Lydia and just take up residence in Helgen and dare any bandit stupid enough to try to come back here. Um, at 
That's an interesting thought. I didn't think about inhabiting Helgen myself. But an interesting thought exercise nonetheless. Let's get out of here. I'm hoping... Oh, wrong way. There we go. I'm hoping that that is everybody out of Helgen now. But I didn't do a thorough, thorough check upstairs. Um, or outside, rather. Just sort of ran around and let the red dots come to me, if you know what I mean. But I would imagine... Yeah, because, like, this is a nice little eating area. Then back through... And up here, on the other side, there were beds. I'm going to I'm gonna check that out, actually. I'm just going to run across the hall here. I wonder if we can actually sleep in these beds. Not that one. Nope. Nope. All right, so it appears as though none of these beds are actual beds. Hmm, that's weird. Well, it appears that there isn't a place that we can actually rest directly here in, um, in Helgen. In the keep, anyway. Back outside. Because you figure if these bandits have been laid up in here, there's got to be somewhere to sleep. Right? Like, they're not... They're just men and women and, you know, like, they, they've got to sleep somewhere. Good old nocturnal. Looks like the Raven Queen for my fellow D&D &D players. Nice. All right. Let's get a let's get a move on Skyrim. I don't need to look at the um, visage of a deity. Thank you. All right. So let's see what we've got. Just some random that's not a... Oh, that's part of the Argonian. Right. Gotcha. All right. So let's see here. So we already... That's where the... If you go in here, that's where those beds are that we looked at before. So that's not going to be of any real use to us. Let's just look around. So there's the gate leading out towards... Well, yeah, okay, towards Riverwood. I thought so. Um, yeah, this house is completely burnt down. There's no chance of finding a place to rest in there. Same story in here by the looks of things. Yeah, same story in this house. Just a burnt corpse. A couple of corpses. Nope, just one corpse. Looked like it was holding something. The Eastern Gate. Which I believe is where we actually came in. I think the cart came in here. We went down this side of the road. Beyond the homes. Get 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 out of here. Um, beyond the homes. I remember a family lived in this house. There was a young boy outside who... Oh, we can search this one. No, we don't care. Um, a family that lived in this house. The young boy interested to see the soldiers, but was quickly ushered inside as his parents knew what was about to go down here. Nope, that's an owned bed. So I can't sleep in that bed. I don't know why I'm actually even looking for a place to sleep. It's not like I'm actually going to inhabit. Um, it's not like I'm actually going to inhabit Helgen. So that takes care of that. That takes care of that. This is where the headman's block is, as you can rightly tell. Um, a little archer, a guy who got shot down, our th horse thief, ran off that direction, I do believe. Interesting. And then this would be the western gate. This is this is where we came in, I believe. Cool. So this is Helgen now. Wow. 
All right, let's see. Can I... The answer is no, Warlock. Don't stand here wasting everybody's time just jumping around. Let's get out of here. All right, around to this side. Run, 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 run. Ah, yes, here is where I ducked away from Alduin. Ran out through this house. Hunkered down over here. And then, yeah, ran down to the hold. I wonder if I can get up on that wall. I would like to. I would like to. Uh, probably not that way, but maybe this way. I was wondering if maybe that front gate... Oh, nope. A little bit. Yes, yes. Nice. Anything of note up here? I mean, we didn't really walk the wall. No, it doesn't seem like it anyway. Yeah, just some outposts. Cool. Well, a little bit of a shorter episode, but I've been trying to keep these a little bit shorter. Um, I think that'll wrap us up. Uh, we were able to, uh, you know, get a little bit of exercise in, if you will. Um, stretch the sword arm, use our voice a little bit with the uh, fire breath shout. Um, clean out Helgen once again. And, um, yeah, sort of have a little bit of a homecoming here, remembering where our journey began as we get ready to set off on yet another leg. Thank you all for joining me on this brief adventure. If you haven't already, please hit that like and subscribe button, and thank you in advance for doing so. If you haven't already, drop a comment below. Anything you want to talk about, Skyrim related or otherwise, I always respond to the comments. I love hearing from you guys. Um, videos lately have been receiving more and more comments, and I, I really like that. I really like getting to interact with the viewers. Um, so yeah, keep it up, and I look forward to hearing from you. I think that's all I have for you folks today, and I will see you all on the next episode.